Hi crafty friends, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, also hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video and also make sure you leave a like and thank you. Okay everyone, today I'm going to be showing you some really really simple ways that we can stretch the supplies that we've already got. So I've took some leaf dies here. To be honest, you could use any single dies that you have. It doesn't just have to be leaves. And what I've done is I've actually cut them out. And before I cut them out, I put some double sided adhesive on the back of them. Uh, that just makes it easy so I don't have to, you know, mess around with glue and getting all sticky and, and stuff and getting it all over my card. And I'm just peeling the back in off these leaves that I cut out and I'm going to stick them onto a white piece of card. Uh, the piece of card will be what I normally use, which will be four inches by um, five and three quarters. So as you can see here, I'm just randomly sticking them down and then we're sort of creating a full embossing folder look. I'm turning it over and I'm snipping off any little bits that are hanging over the edge. And I'm not necessarily throwing away them little bits at first because if you feel like you've missed any little bits, you can actually go and stick them back down because you want it to look like a sort of full embossing folder. Um, I've done this before, but you know, I love this. It's one of my favourite ways to, um, well, one of my favourite techniques because it really does look so nice. As I said, use whatever dies you have. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've took just a, a scrap piece of card there, a scrap piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is use two Distress Oxides. I've got, I think it's Fossilised Amber and Crackling Campfire. And I'm just putting putting that onto the, the card and I'm using a domed blending um, foam. I've found these to be brilliant. I've only really started using them and I think they are excellent for for blending and stuff. I didn't like the flat ones. Um, I've never really used them much because I just couldn't do anything with them. But the domed blending um, foams are brilliant. So I've stocked upon some of them. And I just find they're actually, I do still love blending brushes, but I find you have to put tons of ink on. Uh, with the domed sponges, you don't. Um, you don't use nearly as much ink as you do with a blending brush. So there we go. I'm going for a sort of, you know, ombre two-tone kind of effect. Just, you know, easily blending it with that domed brush. So again, you can use any colour inks you have or any other, any colour inks that you like. And it does create a beautiful effect. And I'm just making sure it's all sort of covered and blended as best as I can. And that's not too bad, really. But yeah, use whatever you have for this, whatever inks, whatever dyes you have. OK, so that is that done. And then what I did as well was I cut out some of those leaf dyes again, just from white card. I haven't put any double sided adhesive on. And what I'm going to do with these is heat emboss them with copper powder to give it a sort of metallic um, sort of effect. And I think the copper looks so nice with the sort of orangey and yellowies. I mean, it is quite an autumnal card and I know it's spring, but hey, <laughs> it's just what I fancied making. So why not? So I'm just going to cover them in the copper embossing powder and I actually only set I actually set heat set these once you can do them a few times like when it's hot you can then pour some more embossing powder over while it's hot and it will melt again so you don't have to keep putting it back into the Versamark ink 
just make sure you pour some over while it's quite um you know the the embossing powder is hot still it should stick and i'm just going to heat set those three leaves okay so that is that done and they are beautiful and i'm just sort of you know deciding where i want to have them three little leaves and they go somewhere in the bottom left hand corner so i've got a red card base there that is four and one eighth by five and seven eighths and i'm just attaching my piece of card onto the front of that And I'm just gluing, I think I put a couple up with foam pads and then I think I glue one of them down. All right, that's that nearly done. And then I also pick out um, a couple of word dies, which happen to be lovely friend. And I've done exactly the same with them as what I did with the leaves, okay? I've just pressed them into my Versamark ink pad and then put the copper embossing powder on. And it's beautiful. It gives us such a pretty effect. So I'm just gluing them down onto the front of the card. And then I also take a few little sort of crystals, which are like a... A sort of brownie cop copper colour and I just glue randomly glue a few of them onto the front and that's it but yes use any dyes any inks you know whatever embossing powders you've got and give that a try because I think that is very very pretty okay the next one now this is a similar sort of thing so for this one I've took some pretty flower dies and I've just cut out quite a few and um, before I cut them out I did put some double sided adhesive on and then I cut them out and then I also took a couple of circle dies um, sort of layering sizes and then I created a frame with them but I did it cut it out twice and then here I'm using the smaller die as a sort of guide because I don't want to be sticking the flowers to what I'm going to cut away because I'm going to actually cut that circle out. Um, but I haven't done it first because I want the flowers to have this sort of cut effect of the die, <clears throat> you know, rather than having to cut them out, trim them by hand. So get all the flowers or whatever you're using stuck down first and then you can die cut it and it will look more I don't know I suppose it may resemble more of like a, a sort of cover plate die because you're actually gonna cut it once you've stuck the die cuts down I hope that makes sense again turning it round and just snipping off any little bits that are hanging over so yeah I just didn't want to stick flowers where they're going to be wasted so Again, I'm just using some of the little bits I trimmed off to stick um, down on the edges there. So you'll see what I mean, but I'm going to take the die and I'm going to cut that out of the centre of the card. But it doesn't have to be a circle it could be whatever die you want to use or whatever die you have really again you can use any dies for this and I just run it through back and forwards because we're cutting through a couple of layers but you can see there I wouldn't have had that if on the flowers if I had just cut it out first the flowers then would kind of just look like you had stuck them on and I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I've got some salvaged patina ink, I think it is. One of my favourite colours. I love this colour. And again, I'm using that domed blending sponge and I'm just putting the ink 
all over the piece of card and it really does sort of look more like either an embossing folder or maybe a sort of cover plate die so you can this is what I mean you, you stretch and your supplies you can create what you want with them so you know you can get so many different looks by doing this and then I've got the two circles that I cut out and I'm going to turn it into a shaker so I've cut a little piece of acetate and I'm just gluing it on to the back, the back of the card. And then I'm going to glue those two little circles together just to give it a bit more, you know, make it a bit more thicker really. So it's a little bit more sturdier and that's going to go on the front. Which kind of defeated the purpose of the die there I've just actually realized because it wasn't intended to be a shaker but I think you get what I mean and then I've got some some foam tape and I'm just popping that down and then I've got a few little shaker bits that I'm putting on to my card base and I'm just going to take the backing off the tape and stick that on and that's that it's really simple to do but it looks so nice. I mean, who doesn't love a shaker card? All right, and just popping that down over there. But yeah, use whatever dies and whatever colours you have. And then I've just done a little sent a sentiment which says celebrate and I've just popped that up on a few little foam pads and basically that's it. So simple to do but it is going to stretch your supplies more. And I think the little flower centres I use um, a sort of like, it's a bit like glossy accents but it's got like sort of little bits of glitter in so it's like a crystal accent. I just pop some of that in the middle of the flowers and um, that looks so so pretty okay now this next one I love this one so I've got a stencil okay and rather than just stencil it I want to emboss it okay so I've done this like obviously you know you can emboss a stencil but I think this is really cool actually so I'm going to emboss the stencil onto a black piece of card now I've got a big shot fold away so I have um, the base platform one clear cutting pad the stencil then the card then it's the grey rubber mat and then the sort of white plastic plate on the top of that and that will give you a really nice emboss so I'm just running that through and I run it back as well and when it comes out there you can see that is really quite quite a deep emboss on there now keep the stencil and I'm going to put the stencil back on it's easy because it's embossed so it's kind of going to want to go in the same position it was in and then I'm going to ink it and what it does is it kind of again it creates a sort of faux embossing folder look because you know you've got that embossed sort of texture but then you've got your colour on the top so it is really a really cool effect so whatever stencils you've got you can do this with any of them. And I'm just starting off with some peacock feathers, <coughs> excuse me, peacock feathers in the middle. And then towards the outside, I'm using the salvaged patina again. So I've gone from sort of dark to light. But yeah, try it. It's, it gives a better effect than just using, a, using it as a stencil because you've got that embossed look to it as well. And it's actually really easy because if you say you know I don't know your stencil comes away or something like that or you have to stop and it gets moved it's so easy to get it back in the same position <clears throat> because of the embossing you'll find it just wants to sit in the the sort of grooves so 
really really simple and then doesn't that look so effective and it's not really picking it up on camera how much it's embossed but it, it, it is quite deep and then I've just got a card base and I'm just gluing it onto my card base and I've just took um, a couple of little dies it's just says hello and then I think the other one is beautiful that's just a stamp and then it has its a little matching die so hello beautiful but yeah give that a try with whatever stencils you've already got in your stash and it'll give you a sort of embossing folder look and there we go that's that so simple but it's it really does look so effective I've got a little bit of Spectrum sparkle pen here um, and I'm just rubbing it over the die cut just to give it a little bit more sparkle but I don't really think the camera picks it up very well but you probably won't be able to see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there we go. Definitely try that. Now, this next one is maybe you don't have any stencils but you can still do the same thing so I've got a die here I've cut it out just regularly first from a piece of card but I'm going to emboss this die so this time because it's a die I don't want if you emboss it too much it can crack the card so what I do is I've got base platform then a cutting pad then I take the um, the die, pop it on the cardstock as if you were going to cut it, but then flip it round so you've got the die, then the card. And then I put the grey mat on and then another cutting pad. And this works out so much better. You don't get the cracks because it's not as, the pressure isn't quite as much but for, for doing it with a die it's perfect because I did it the other way around and it was just cracked it was awful you can see there it turns out really smooth but you get a beautiful deep impression so just a little tip if you're going to emboss with a die do it in you know use this plate sort of configuration so there we go you can even if you don't have a stencil we've created our own same sort of thing as the last video so the die cut is going to be the stencil and it's going to sit straight back in because we've embossed it again so easy if you you know get lost off or it gets moved or whatever you just pop it back down and it sits directly in and I don't even think I've taped it down here so this time I've gone for hickory smoke not a color I've ever really used I just wanted to try something different but it's a it's a lovely sort of obviously gray color really really nice and all I'm doing is the same I've got my domed blending brush now look how cool that is and again the camera's not really picking up the thickness of the embossing but it does look really really cool and I'm just taking my trimmer and I'm just going around the edges and cutting it down but yes whatever dies you have or you know a background die do that cut one out then emboss the other one and then it's a sort of embossed stencil again so definitely a way to stretch your supplies you know get more use out of the things you've got and create different looks with them so yes I love this And then I just make some little splatters. I just get my little watercolour set out, um, you know, just a little brush and I just splatter some of the black watercolour down and it just gives a nice sort of splattery artsy effect. So that's what I've done with that. And then I've got a card base and I'm just going to glue that down onto the card I've gone for a sort of like you know blue I thought what colour would that be like a turquoisey blue and grey 
um, and the sentiment I cut from white card but then I inked it with peacock feathers um, and I just used silver mirror card underneath so this one is just hello and then I've stamped a little sentiment which is my sweet friend and that is just going to go on the bottom so yeah I hope you agree it definitely does stretch the supplies you've got um, really simple to do so I hope you I hope you've sort of enjoyed these ideas and then I'm just popping the little sentiment up on a bit of foam tape and just sticking that down onto there beautiful but I wish you could see the embossing um, you can obviously feel it too but yeah it, it's really cool and I'm just bringing in the other ones we made um, you'll be able to find them all on my blog anyway but yeah I hope you've enjoyed it and I will be back again next week with some more videos so have a lovely Easter and take care and bye for now